Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome back again to my channel. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I want to talk about one of the great books today that I think it's a must read for a lot of people. Uh, this is a really special book. It's called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So this book is on top of many people, like many famous people and many like successful people list. Like this is the number one, like probably not one on the spot of their must read uh, book. So with this book, it consists of a lot of life lessons. It's not just about, you know, getting rich and things like that, even though the title is saying like think and grow rich, but there's a lot of great lessons on this book. One of the lessons of this book is that everybody can become successful if only you can have the desire and you can only imagine it in your head that you can be successful. So that's one of the lessons of this book. They always repeat this over and over again. And I also uh, always mention this a couple times in my video about manifesting your desire, manifesting your imagination and your dream into reality, right? So um, there's this quote, uh, one of the quotes that I really like from this book. It's, you are the master of your fate and the captain of your soul, right? So this is the English poet, uh, it's called W.C. Henley. So he basically said that, you know, because we have, we as a human, we have the power to control our thoughts. And he would have told us that either in which this little planet floats in which we move and we have our being, the form of energy, that is moving at a conceivably high rate of vibration and that ether is filled with a form of universal power which adapts itself to the nature of the thoughts we hold, we hold in, your, in our minds and influences us in a natural way to transmute our thoughts into their physical equivalent, right? So what he's basically saying is that we have the power in our mind whether you want to be successful, whether you're going to be poor or we, whether you're going to be rich, it all happens in our mind, in our mind frame, right? So uh, in order for you to get what you want, you need to have a really vivid desire. You really need to have a really vivid vision in your head that you can attain, that, right? You have to always fill your thoughts with positive things, with something that can make you stronger, like something that can enrich your life, enrich your skills, and you know uh, things that can elevate you a little further to that level. So it really depends how uh, how successful you want to be. Some people can only imagine themselves as a middle class person, you know, because they cannot really take that stress when they are having a lot of money, for example, or they're very famous, they're very successful. Of course, there's gonna be a lot of repercussions that comes from that idea, from, from the success, which is uh, problems, you know, because in everybody's lives, there's going to be a problem, but it's just, the problem is gonna be different for each person. Say, for example, a middle-class person is gonna have, you know, uh, little problems and not so stressful life, but, People like billionaires, like people who are uh, amassing a lot of riches, they, of course, they're gonna have a lot more like big problems, you know, like people are sh suing them, for example, or um, there are gonna be lots of competition. You have to protect your assets, you have to protect uh, your IP or pro proprietary and things like that. Um, so, yeah, it gets really difficult for a lot of people if you cannot handle that stress. So. The first thing that this book uh, taught is are you going to be able to handle that stress? Are you going to be able to be that man, you know, before you can attain that riches, before you can attain that wealth? So you have to become like the person that can amass such wealth, if you, if you like put it bluntly and put it simply. It's also, there's like also this, um, this motivator, like, speaker that I follow is called Jim Ron. So Mr. Ron, he always said that we can always change who we are. We can always, you know, uh, the way for you to, they call it the law, he call it the law of attraction because it's not about chasing. It's all about attracting things. So there are lots of codes that goes like this. In order for you to attract the butterfly into your garden, you don't chase the butterfly. You don't like 
catch a butterfly and put it in your garden, no. But what you can do is try to water your garden, make it beautiful, make it pretty. So the butterfly will come by itself, right? So that's the moral of the story. So basically, that's the point. If you make yourself attractive, if you make yourself, you know, so good at a um, lot of skills, for example, you uh, have a, you like upgrade your looks, you upgrade your speech, you upgrade your skills, you upgrade your knowledge, everything. That's a form of attractiveness by itself, right? So of course, when you do that, and then you know a lot of a lot of things are gonna comes at you to match your frequency. So yeah, a lot of things are true. Uh, ever since I I try to you know implement this idea, I think speed is also very important in life you cannot stop for a minute because i think uh, when you are constantly moving all the time i don't think uh, depression or laziness can catch up to you you know because you are always on the move and when you're always on the move there's always new ideas coming there's always new stuff to work out uh, so you always constantly doing a lot of things and that's also be makes your life become very productive and with a productive life of course there's gonna be a reward that comes from it right so yeah this is one of the really good books I mean they have a lot of chapters there's basically um, steps step by step I don't I, I don't want to spoil this book for you I would suggest for you to pick this book and read it for yourself uh, tell me if it's true or if it's not true if it's just bullshit tell me um, but I think it's one of the steps if you want to get better if you want to be more successful in life I would really recommend because you know you can gain a lot of knowledge you can gain like a hundred years of knowledge with just a few books because people who wrote this book they already lived their life they already knew what works and what's not so the the best way and the fastest way to learn about uh, success or about life is to learn through other people's experience right so I've been a fan of a lot of biography of great people you know like Arnold Schwarzenegger is one of the great great examples and Barack Obama also a great example um, I think the latest book that I that I read uh, is Matthew McConaughey I mean he, he got a really good biography that he put out probably like a while ago but he all of them always saying that you know in order for you to change your life you just have to change yourself first and there's also a chapter in this book that are saying basically the last chapter is only saying about how you need to get rid of your fear if you want to if you want to master your thoughts you also have to master your fear you cannot succumb to your fear for example like in this book they were saying there are six basic fears it's the fear of poverty it's the fear of criticism it's the fear of ill health loss of love or someone old age and death right and the hardest the hardest one uh, this book says is the fear of poverty it's because it's been placed in the head of the list because it's the most difficult to master considerable courage is required to state the truth about the origin of this fear and still the greater courage to accept the truth after it has been stated basically so you have to understand what you fear the most and then try to work it out try to think uh, that your fear is just a state of thought it's just a state of mind it's not real it's just what's happening in your mind you know like your imagination and if you can master that if you can at least just get like um, tone it down a little bit you know I think you're gonna lead a much productive life a much happier life because you know it's not real it's just like monsters under your bed when you were a child you're always thinking like hey there's gonna there's a monster under my bed or like there's a monster in the closet and things like that whether whether it's real or not you obviously know the answer for that it's obviously not real 
but your mind is so powerful and you can think that it's real you can imagine things that there's actually monster there but it's not real so it's the same concept basically so you have to get rid of that and if you can master that this book guarantees you you can you can lead a happier life you can you can get whatever you want you know it's a matter of state of thoughts so uh, yeah, I, re- I really suggest to for you to pick up this book. This book is really good for uh, if you want to better yourself, you want to amplify, if you want to upgrade yourself, and you want to if you want to think and you want to grow rich. Uh, definitely, definitely read this book. Um, one of the other message that I wanna wanna say to you before we end this video is that you have to understand and you have to really be specific of how how successful you want to be i don't know if i if i already said this earlier in the video but you have to really really know how successful you want to be or like how much money you want to get by the end of the day right some people can be content with probably one million dollars some people some people imagine like 10 million dollars or like even 100 million dollars it's, it's up to you like how much money you want to amass and how much successful you want to get you can be a director you can be like a ceo you can be president like it doesn't really matter uh, what matter is that you have to be specific on what you want and only then only then you can get that because it's already implanted in your thoughts right and if you already implant it in your thoughts and you have the desire to actually chase it and you have that goal set in your mind and you have that uh, vision in your head i think you can get there all right so that's the message for today's video and i really thank you for tuning in i hope you i can see you again in the next video but yeah uh, for now don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this video and i will see you again in the next video all right see you bye